Lily's Magical Forest Adventure, a short story. One sunny afternoon, Lily was playing in her backyard when she noticed something unusual, a small door embedded in the garden's oak tree. What could that be? wondered Lily. She hurried over, and the door creaked open to reveal a shining path lined with glowing flowers. Lily was excited and a little nervous but she knew one thing, she had to explore it. As she stepped through the door she was amazed by what she saw. The magical forest was filled with towering trees that sparkled in the sunlight. Colorful birds sang happy tunes and gentle breezes carried the scent of sweet flowers. Wow, this place is amazing, said Lily. I've never seen anything like it. Suddenly a tiny fairy with glittering wings fluttered by. Hello young adventurer, welcome to the magical forest, she greeted Lily. I am Flora, a forest fairy. Lily eagerly followed Flora marveling at the magical sights around her. The river they passed had mermaids and magical singing parrots. This is beautiful, exclaimed Lily and Flora said indeed. Soon they came to a bubbling stream with stepping stones that seemed to move on their own. To cross the stream, you must solve this riddle, Flora explained. What has roots that nobody sees is taller than trees. Up, up it goes, and yet never grows, Lily thought hard. She stayed thinking for a moment, Flora waiting patiently. Then Lily realized, excitedly answering, A mountain! Correct! Flora cheered, and the stepping stones lined up to create a bridge. Lily carefully crossed the bridge, feeling proud of herself for guessing correctly. On the other side of the bridge, they reached an enchanted grove where trees with faces whispered secrets and flowers changed colors as they sang. Lily danced and laughed, feeling the magic all around them. This place is like a dream, said Lily, spinning in circles. And it's just the beginning, a tree added with a wink. Enjoy your time in the magical forest. Lily thanked the tree and continued on. As Lily continued her journey she heard a rustling sound in the bushes and she turned curiously. Out popped a friendly orange dragon named Draco. Hello there, don't be afraid, I'm here to help, Draco said with a smile. He had shimmering scales and eyes that twinkled like stars. I'm on an adventure, said Lily. Can you join me? Draco nodded eagerly. I know all the best spots in the forest. With Draco leading the way, they soon reached a crystal cave that sparkled in every color of the rainbow. To enter, you must solve this puzzle, Draco explained. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Lily pondered the puzzle, slowly getting used to the way the forest functioned. It seemed to progress, she had to solve riddles, it was just like her puzzle games at home. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years, she mumbled, the dragon waiting patiently. Then Lily realized, the letter M, shouted Lily. The cave entrance glowed and opened, welcoming her inside. Inside the cave she found a glowing gem that pulsed with magical energy. This gem holds the magic of the forest, a fairy explained. It is your only way back, if you ever wanted to visit us again. Lily carefully took the gem, looking at it curiously. I can keep it, she asked disbelievingly and the fairy nodded. As they left the cave Lily felt a sense of accomplishment and wonder. With the gem in hand, Lily made her way back to the hidden door. Thank you for visiting our magical forest Lily, the fairy said kindly. Remember you are always welcome here. Lily waved goodbye to her new magical friends and stepped through the door, returning to her backyard. She breathed out, knowing this was an adventure she'd never forget. As Lily sat on the grass thinking about her adventure, she realized she still had the gem. This will remind me of my adventure, said Lily happily. She went into her bedroom and stored the gem away safely. She breathed out, knowing that the magic of the forest was now a part of her. Lily, called her mother from downstairs, it's time for dinner. Lily ran downstairs into the kitchen and sat at the table eating the yummiest dinner ever. And from that day on, Lily had many more adventures, knowing that if she used her mind, she could overcome any challenge or riddle. Thank you for listening to my short story, there will be more to come. My name is Michaela Thomas and you can follow me at Miss Kells 90.